Prepare to rest. Right. My trusty assistant. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like to start the roast when the flame comes on. So it's hit 430, it's going to cycle down and probably kick on at 427. When we see the flame going across, that's when we left. Okay. So I'll see a flame going across yep. here. Yep. You see a pilot come on? see a pilot, yep. And that's going to spread? Yeah, it's spread. Okay, lift it up. Okay. So, what's happening? The temperature's dropping really rapidly. Wow. We're going to hear the difference when all of them are in. You hear that difference? Yep. You can close it now. You can, and this is one of the weaknesses of this machine. They built a spy hole, but it's so small you can barely see anything in there. Uh -huh. You can sort of see them agitating and they don't really know what they're doing. Okay, we're down to 310 degrees. All right, we got time. I'm going to tell you more about what's going to happen here. Okay. Uh, when you started this, I started this. Uh, and so I want to be, I mean, if I do my job properly, I'm going to record the temperature uh, at every minute. Okay. I record every book. You document every book. Again, okay, we're looking for consistency. Sure. So what we want to have happen after the second minute is we want the incremental rate of rise to be 20 degrees. This was not going to work. It's really minute two that we're really concerned with. And let's see here, I got this short. 227, 247, that was perfect. 269, that's okay. You got some leeway. If it's 22 degrees, 23 degrees, you're okay. okay. If you're 16, 17, well, 17 is okay. 16, you might be concerned. You might make an adjustment. Okay. We've got some parameters to leave. So you would change the temperature. You would change yeah. the temperature when we change this. This is like the knob on a gas stove. If okay. you turn to the left, you take the oxygen out, you turn back to the right. Take a look up. If you turn to the left, yep. you get a yellow flame, no oxygen. Turn it back to the right, blue flame, okay. speed it up. Each roast is a little bit different. So you never know what's going to happen. You did a pretty accurate measurement. Okay. You did a pretty good measurement. 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 I'm just trying to head off. Please do it. Local desking is very hard, you know. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You've got to sort of put it on. Third fracture, multiple languages. You're probably going to need a glass of wine after that. Well, I'm going to think about it. I bet it takes a lot of wine to make coffee. I'm going to taste the wrong thing. Oh, I'm going to taste the right thing. I'm not wrong with the Okay. I, when I, I, I tell you, I have a home roaster in the States. When we came down here, I brought one of my old home roasting machines. And I could only roast like a pound at a time. And I had lots of green beans. And I had a friend here, an American guy, who had a machine pretty similar to this. And I would ask him to roast green beans for me so that I could take them back to the States before I really lived there. Yep. His condition for roasting was, I had to bring him a bottle of rum to sit with him for an hour or two hours to do the roasting. Oh my God, that's so Even terrible. 49. Okay. So I've taken up that tradition. Okay? Yep. When I have a lot of roasting to do, I sit on that chair with this in one hand and the glass of rum in the yeah. other hand. Is the accuracy okay. like a down of a time? Oh no, it only gets better. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> you have a distillery here as well? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's against the law, so I don't talk about it. Yeah. So okay. For the record, there's, 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 there's no distillery. There's no distillery, but we do produce some rum up on the bottom of the So we're, you know, we're at 29 degrees in that first, I mean, 19 degrees in that first minute. Okay. 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 Is going to lose 20% of the weight of the coffee because the moisture is being forced out by the hot air. And we're getting about 15% in volume. They swell up. Uh -huh. So we should show the volume of that up. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of 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 the rest uh, see, I told you I couldn't really do it. Yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. He said, I always said, uh, yeah. Um, also, when this reaches about 380 degrees, you come
come to a roaster's tournament called First Crack. And what will happen is there's a little, a little popping sound coming out of the drum. It's kind of like popcorn popping. Yeah. And what that is, is the moisture is going in a bubble and then burst in the bubble. Yeah. Outside it will smoke more and it's going to be that sound from the public. It's also a good indicator that I need to stop walking and ah. paying attention to what I'm doing. Be nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn this up to the left a little bit. It's going just a little bit too fast. Turn it even more. Okay. Uh, okay. We're going to keep it there just for another half a minute and we're going to turn it down. Okay. Um, so talking will also be the second crack. It will happen again at about 448 degrees. On this dark road. Yeah. Okay. 300. Okay, we don't worry about that word on this more than that. The time that we want to watch is this one right now. Okay, but am I supposed to be here in a crack then? 380. Oh, 380. Okay, it's not like 300. No, 380. Got it. Um, so it reaches that second crack at around 448, 450. And you need to be very cognizant of it. When you open this up, it will be close to that temperature. And you'll be hearing some of that. But if it stays in the, in the drum for much, you know, 10 seconds longer than the second crack, it has a tendency to burn. So we want to get it before it burns. What we're shooting for is to get this coffee just as the oils start to come out. 312. Okay, turn it back around the right. And then we look. We kind of stem the upswing. Now, what happens actually, between minutes 6 and 8, there's a change in the density of the coffee in the drum. I think, and I'm not sure, I think it's when it goes from exothermic heat to endothermic heat. So when the, the, the main force of heat is coming from the internal temperature, it changes and it slows this down a little bit. I'm not positive that that's what happens. But we're going to be fine. Now, is this an example of German engineering? Or? This actually is, it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's, no, it's surprising. The you know, parts for this particular machine were made in Turkey. Okay. Oh. Assembled and manufactured, uh, assembled and marketed in Clearwater, Florida in the States. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Is, I don't know. Global economy. Global economy. All right, 3.30. Okay, 3.30 we are, so we're at 18 degrees and we're fine. We're, we're this would be the time of just to take a look. Turn those back in, turn that over, dump them out, and turn the black side up. Let it sit for a few seconds with the black side up. And I, and, yeah, you got it. Okay. So, so if you look, they're starting to change in color and size just a little bit, and if you smell them, they'll probably smell a little bit better too. This is a good time to talk about. We didn't really want to talk about it. You guys have to help me remember because you're not going to find when I was talking about in the bodega about changing the roast profile, okay. this is an example for a medium roast uh, temperature and time. And the roast profile is when we drop it down like we did here and bring it back up on a straight line for you know, 20 degrees to the end. Okay? So you can reach the temperature and the color in 11 minutes. 348. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, we're fine. I, I, we're not going to, you can reach it in 11 minutes. But if it doesn't taste exactly right to me, it doesn't taste the way the back before, the four pounds before tasted, I'll move to a different roasting profile. And the next one that I usually try is just dotting that. We bring it down the same way, bring it up to 300 right. degrees, turn the flame off at 300 degrees, pull it off for a minute and a half. Then turn it back on and it comes back up but more gradually. Mm -hmm. And it gets the temperature and the color in maybe 15 minutes. Okay. That's about 11. So three minutes longer. Great roasters can look at a coffee and figure out how to maximize the flavor by roasting. I'm not there. I'm a, I'm a trial and error kind of guy. <laughs> if I don't like this taste, I move to the next profile and another taste until I get what I think is the right taste. So 367. Okay. 367. Before it's 347. Pretty soon we're going to hear that, that crack. first little crack. Yeah. The, uh, the best, you know, not unusual to say, the best, the, the machine that everybody, um, you know, you're, wants to have in the property business 
is a probat made in Germany. They are the industrial machine. Okay. This one, I would say, is in the upper third but of machines. This is a nine dollar, a nine thousand dollar. This is a nine thousand dollar wow. machine. The same size probat, if you can find one, is in the eighteen thousand wow. dollar range. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And this is burning propane or natural gas? Here we use propane that's because that's what they have in the top. The 389. We're really good on this for us. Okay. So you get the first crap. So I want you to do two things. One, I want you to turn this up a little bit. Let's do uh, a little bit more to the right. To the right. That's good. Let's do that. We're going to start down a bit. And then I want you to take this down to 427. Okay. So we have our flame go off at 427. Okay. It's tough because the object is going to continue to rise yep. from its internal heat. Why you do that is you let it coast into its final temperature so that you'll have more even color to the road. Uh -huh. It happens to put in the internal heat rather than the external heat. So this is going to be about 11 minute rest? No, we're in almost at 11 minutes. It's going to well, be uh, 12 and a half to 15 minute rest. Okay. We've got, we still have about 40 degrees, so a few more minutes to get there. Okay. Now this was the first roast of the day today, and that always has an impact on it. Even though we preheated, we preheated it, yep. but it's not as dry. Okay. So the temperature was what it should be, but it hasn't dried it out. Right. And then it's a wet day also. Yeah. So things like external temperature, um, you know, we're at 411. Is that 411? Then we're kind of back a little bit. We don't need a little bit of smoke out here. Smoke out yeah. there, yeah. We're yeah. we'll getting ready for our first <laughs> real sample. Well, so we've got yeah. here 425. I want my first sample. Okay. We're 417 now. So. That smells good out there. That uh, is It's like watching uh, water boil. That is. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've heard So you really can't digitize or computerize. Oh, yes, you can. But then I wouldn't be able to do coffee tours. Give me a sample. Okay. <laughs> then you can. For $2,000 more, I could have this completely computerized. You still have to program it the first time. Uh -huh. um, but it takes a lot of the fun out of it. I really enjoy doing it. Okay. Yeah, like, you know, and I can make fun of that. Okay. The 435, this is coming pretty quickly now. Our plane's gone off. I mean, let's that difference. So let's take a sample of 435. Okay. Okay. Can you see the color difference? Subtle, but there, definitely different, okay? A little bit darker, a little bit shinier. What are we striving for? Darker than that? Yeah, you want the dark roast? This yeah. is the light roast, this is the medium roast. Yep. You guys, we don't like the dark, one yeah. we want higher. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So what temperature okay. do you think we're going to get to? 448, let me see what you got. Okay. Turn this in. Turn this on. Green one. Yeah, turn it on. But we're not there yet, so let's take another look. It's not dark enough yet. Another peak? Let's take a peak. Let's take a peak now. Let's do that again. You've got to sit with the black side up for a little bit. Okay. Let's see. You want to put the rest? What do you got? Okay. You want to put the rest of the black side up and then you can put it in. Not for a while. Okay, those are the red ones. Okay. So, lift this up and smile at your camera. Lift it up, okay? Okay. Wow. Oh, beautiful. So you do, you have a beautiful, nice, even dark floor in there. Take a look at it. You'll see, there'll be some little beads of oil, little sweat of oil that come out, but it's not soaked in oil. Okay. And so you got black like we can see them coming out of here now. Okay. That crackling sound in here, that's the second. That's the second. Okay. Come down, all this is this in here will be collected down underneath. That's beautiful world. Do you think I have a, a second career future in coffee roasting, yeah, Rich? Absolutely. Anybody who measures as carefully as you do. Ah, come on, that was my 
<laughs> that was my wife that did the measuring. <laughs> she had two Korean helpers. Yeah. All right, so. The two pictures, and I have one more official part. Not one more official part, one more optional part. Of the 